We are just on the tail end of that system that brought us all that snow over the last two and a half days or so. And we will have from that same system periods of snow continuing throughout the rest of the afternoon and actually over the next couple of days as that system continues to fall apart. Where then the mountains they could find several inches of snow accumulate again all the way through the, the end of the weekend potentially. And then after that we of course already have our eyes on the next system that's going to arrive for potentially the start and middle of next work week. Still a long way to go till we get there but we are already keeping an eye on that for you guys. Let's have a look outside of Linden State. Nice snow covered trees. The baseball fields, of course, blanketed with some fresh snow now, and that's nice to see, but we have had some trouble on our roads thanks to this snow, and of course, with our freezing temperatures earlier this morning, there might be a little crust from the slush yesterday or melted snow, uh, but I do think that's going to improve as the day goes on, and um, we will find maybe a little bit more of that snow on top of it at times. Northern New York getting some light snow as well, uh, maybe some of that in central and southern Vermont pretty soon here uh, as a couple of these little bands continue to rotate over around the center of the low, which is just to the north of us. Now this is again the same system that brought us all the snow yesterday. It's falling apart. It's closed off. It's just sitting and rotating as it kind of dies, uh, but it is going to take about two more days for that to happen. And in the meantime, we'll find some upslope snow showers and potentially the occasional little squall here or there out of that over the next two days. And in the meantime, things are pretty quiet so far, but we've got temperatures in the low and mid thirties, which is not too bad, maybe a little bit below average so far, but maybe a couple more degrees to go into the afternoon hours with temperatures. Thanks to a southerly wind, at least a couple of degrees warmer than they were yesterday. Low and mid thirties for our high temperatures this afternoon. And then later tonight, they'll dip back down into the 20s and that's where we end up for tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon we will end up in the mid and upper 30s once again, so not too bad of the next couple of days here. These are very seasonable temperatures and like to like today, we'll find some more of those mountain snow showers. However, I think the rest of us are really going to start to quiet down for tomorrow afternoon. Today, though, possibly during your commute home, you might find a couple quick inches fall out of a few of these little bands here of that snow that could pass through northern New York and Vermont. Uh, these aren't going to be widespread and they're not going to be uh, impacting a ton of people. But if you get caught under one of these little bands, you're going to get again a quick inch or two at the most while most of our scattered showers for the afternoon are going to be on the light and moderate side into tomorrow morning. It looks like clouds at times may break up and I do think like today you're going to find some hints of that sunshine for your Saturday, but especially in the mountains as that system to the north of us wraps around and continues to pump in uh, some of those clouds, uh, develops rather some of those clouds of the mountains. That's upslope snow that we're going to get spitting out of there. And especially in the higher elevations, you're going to continue to see that chance all the way through potentially Sunday morning. The second part of the weekend into the start of the work week is looking a little bit more quiet, but that's not for long. Let's have a look at that snow map again not any widespread huge totals here and it's very gradual accumulation but in our mountains northwestern slopes of the green uh, the adirondacks rather western slopes of the green mountains six seven eight inches over the next two and a half days or so as that system continues to fall apart i mentioned the end of the weekend gets a little more quiet seasonable on sunday again a little sunshine mixed in start of monday is pretty quiet too but late monday as of now late monday looks like that new system is going to start to creep in and it could potentially bring us i think mainly a snow event for tuesday and wednesday still about three days four days away from that onset of that so we'll keep an eye on it and narrow it down as it gets a little bit closer <laughs>